so next unit we are going to start today and the unit number 3 and name of that unit is design of water tank okay so water tank so in this unit what we have to do in this unit we are going to design the water tank okay so design of design of water tank but using using working stress method okay WSM WS as per our syllabus the water tank we are going to design with a oldest method with the working stress method why so uh, in IS456 the tensile stresses developed due to the effect of water that tensile stresses are not mentioned in the IS456 in, in a limit statement okay so uh, the stresses developed due to the hoop pressure or water pressure and that tensile stresses are not clearly mentioned in limit state method but that stresses are clearly mentioned in a working stress method so we are going to use the working stress method but there is one new amendment is there for IS456 in limit state method so we can use the limit state method for design of a water tank okay so but as per our syllabus we are going to use the working stress method for design of a water tank so first i will tell you what are the types of water tanks we have to study okay so in that first types of water tank types of water tank as per our syllabus the we are going to design the water tank those who are resting on ground those who are resting on ground in that first water tank resting on ground water tank resting on ground okay in the water tank resting on ground the first type we have to study in this unit is the circular water tank is the circular water tank the tank is having circular in plan that water tank we have to study in the in this part the circular water tank resting on ground circular water tank resting on ground that uh, type we are going to study here okay so now what next we have to do so in the next part circular water tank resting on ground resting on ground in that the first type is a flexible base flexible base flexible base water tank circular in shape resting on ground that type we are going to study in this way flexible base so i will tell you exactly what is the meaning of a flexible base in flexible base water tank so uh, and second one is the rigid base second one is the rigid base circular water tank rigid base circular water tank okay and we are using to design a flexible water tank the approximate method and is per method in this case in this case approximate method we are going to use so when we are 
uh, want to design the circular water tank so it is flexible based the approximate method we are using to design the tank and when the base is rigid In circular water tank resting on ground, when we are uh, referring the flexible base water tank, for that we are using the approximate method, and for rigid base water tank we are using the approximate method as well as the IS code method, as well as the IS code method. So which IS code you have to refer for this for this water tank? 3370. So, which ISO we are using? This IS 3370 part 3 and 4. Part 3 and 4. That two parts we are going to use. Okay. Now, next water tank resting on ground. That water tank is rectangular. Rectangular water tank resting on ground. Rectangular water tank resting on ground using approximate method of design. Using approximate method of design. Using approximate method of design. So this is the <laughs> so this is the <clears throat> water tank. This is the details of water tank resting on ground. What we are going to study in this unit. What we are going to study in this unit. Okay. The water tank resting on ground. In that we are uh, going to study the circular water tank. In circular water tank, flexible base and rigid base. These two types we are going to study. In flexible base. Maximum we are using the approximate method of design and in rigid base we are using two methods. One is the approximate method of design and second one is the IS code method of design. And finally, uh, the water tank resting on ground, but we have uh, to we have to design the rectangular and square water tank using approximate method of design. Using approximate method of design. Second part is Elevated water tank. Second part is elevated water tank. Second part is elevated water tank. This part we are not going to study in this unit. As well as, as well as the third type is underground. Underground water tank. Again, we are not going to study this water tank in this unit. So only we are studying uh, the water tank resting on ground in this unit. Okay. Now, what is the next part of this unit? What is the next part of this unit? Okay. So first I will tell you what is the difference between the flexible base water tank and rigid base water tank? After that, I will uh, go to the basic concept of working stress method. Basic concept of working stress method. Okay. So, is it clear? Now, so what is the main difference between the flexible base and rigid base water tank? So, water tank having a two main components. One is the wall of the water tank and next one is the base of the water tank. Okay. So, I want to sketch the wall of the water tank. Okay. So, this is the wall of the water tank. I will try to sketch the 3D view of the uh, 
wall okay so this is a wall of water tank okay this is a wall of let it be like this so this is a wall so these are the main two components of the water tank so this is the wall of and second main thing is the base of the water tank second main thing is the base of the water tank so i want to sketch the base of the water tank like this so this is the base of the water tank so these are two grooves okay so i will try to So so these are the grooves and the main base of the water tank this is the main base of the water tank okay so this is the base of the water tank so this is the base of the base slab so this is the base slab okay so these are the two main components of the water tank so there is a no any proper connection between the wall and the base slab that type of tank is called a flexible base water tank that means simply you have to put this wall in this groove simply you have to put this wall in this groove and there is no any proper connection there is no any proper connection between the wall and base so there is a flexibility uh, and this junction so that type of water tank is called a flexible base water tank flexible base water tank mainly the water tank is designed for the water pressure it is called a hoop tension whatever the water pressure is acting on a wall and that water pressure is generating a tensile stresses in the wall for that tensile stresses you have to design the water tank okay in the water tank first to design the wall of the water tank and then to design the base of the water tank these two main components you have to design so this is a flexible base water tank so this is the flexible base water tank this is a flexible base water tank now what is the rigid base water tank the rigid base water tank is so there is the perfect connection there is a perfect connection between wall and base slab there is a perfect connection between wall and base slab that means that means base slab base slab and wall base slab and wall are casted at same time base slab and wall are casted at same time like this if you take the cross section of that water tank it looks like this base and the wall of a water tank are casted at the same time so i want to so this is the proper 3d view of a rigid base water tank rigid base water tank that means the wall and base is casted at the same time there is the perfect rigidity in between the wall and the base such type of water tanks are called a rigid base water tank so this is the one this is the one 3d view of rigid base water tank and this is the 3d view of a flexible base water tank isn't it is it clear please reply is it clear now for what forces the water tank is going to design so due to so again i want to uh, sketch the 3d view of that water tank okay so this is the 3d view of the water tank circular water tank okay so 
yes i want to continue it suppose this is the rigid base suppose suppose this is the rigid base water tank so this is the rigid base so this wall you have to design for the water pressure so this wall you have to design the water pressure so this wall you have to design the water pressure and due to that water pressure the tensile stresses are developed in this wall and for that uh, for that tensile stresses you have to provide the reinforcement and you have to provide the proper thickness of this wall so proper thickness of this wall and you have to provide a proper reinforcement in the wall you have to provide a proper reinforcement in the wall so what you have to do in the design of water tank you have to provide the proper thickness of the thickness of the wall for the hook tension it is called a hook tension okay it is called a hook tension due to water pressure the this wall is subjected to the hook tension and for that hook tension you have to design the wall and second one is base slab second one is base slab okay you have to design the base slab uh, for the uh, proper uh, forces the base slab is resting on ground so there is no any special steps required for design of a base slab but this wall is designed for the hook tension as well as when there is the rigidity when there is a fixity in between the base slab and wall at that fixity the bending moment is developed and for that bending moment you have to design the and for that bending moment at this location due to this pressure due to this pressure the wall is bound to bend like this so this wall is bound to bend like this this wall is bound to bend like this and due to the deflection at the top and fixity at bottom free at top and fixity at bottom due to fixity at bottom the bending moment is developed at the bottom and for that bending moment you have to design the wall for that bending moment you have to design the wall so now remember that you have to design the wall and base slab these two things you have to design two rc component to design the water tank wall is designed for the hook tension as well as the base moment if the tank is rigid you have to design the wall for two forces one for the hook tension another for the bending moment and when there is a flexibility when there is a no proper connection between the wall and base that only you have to design the wall for hook tension there is a no bending moment at the base due to the flexibility and you have to design the base slab and you have to design the base slab for the for the uh, bending moment bending moment or you have to design the you have to provide the minimum criteria for design of a base slab again while designing the water tank you have to provide the proper thickness of the wall and that thickness should satisfy the hook tension as well as base moment for design of this all these things we are going to use we are going to use the working stress method the summary of this the thumb summary is in water tank in this unit we are going to design the circular water tank resting on ground in that we are uh, concentrating on the uh, flexible base circular water tank and rigid base circular water tank approximate method and i squared method both methods we are using and lastly the a uh, rectangular and square water tank also we have to design in this unit strictly we are using the working stress method for design purpose okay so this is some about the theoretical part of the uh, water tank now next now first we have to go for the some theoretical concepts of working stress method and 
limit state method working stress method and limit state method okay in this unit we are going to prefer the working stress method for design of a water tank okay now whatever we have we have studied in the dcs1 that totally dcs1 is related to the limit stress method so in this dcs2 only this unit is subjected to working stress method otherwise all other units are related to limit stress method so first of all you have to go for the uh, somewhat theoretical concept of a working stress method so working stress method this for ws working stress method short it is called a wsa so all criteria related to working stress method is given in ice code ice 4562000 version from page number 80 please refer that for ice 4 when we are referring the ice 456 page number 69 and page number 96 these two pages are related to the uh, limit stress method design of a beam for flexion okay and after page number 80 the ice code is related to the uh, working stress method so now what is the working stress method the working stress method is the stress based method it is the it is the stress based method that means all stresses are defined in this method okay then it is a linear method it is the linear method basically the limit stress method is called a non linear method and this is called a linear method. the main difference is the stress strain stress strain relationship stress strain relationship of concrete of steel and concrete steel and concrete is assumed is assumed as straight line the stress strain relationship of steel and concrete is assumed as a straight line in this method but this assumption is wrong because stress strain graph of a concrete is not a straight line that we have studied in this is one and fourth one the modular ratio is defined in this method Okay. Modular ratio is defined, and that modular ratio is calculated using the formula, and that formula is available on page number eighty. It is two eighty divided by three sigma CBC. Using this formula, you can find out the modular ratio. Using this formula, you can find out the modular ratio. now what is the sigma cbc so this is a permissible compressive bending stress in concrete okay so this is the permissible compressive bending stress in concrete because all stresses are defined uh in this method okay so it is called a stress based method so these are this is some uh, uh, assumptions these are some assumptions uh, made in working stress method all other assumptions are same uh, like as our limit stress method that means all tension stresses are taken by the reinforcement 
none by concrete it is true okay and again the any cross section plane any cross section plane sections before bending and remain plane after bending that also the assumption is there this assumption is given in is 456 page number 80